I'm gonna make a quick stop at a gas station. I haven't eaten lunch yet. It's uh, it's about 11 o'clock right now, and uh, I'm gonna grab some food, and then I've got the boat, and we're going fishing. I got chips and a sandwich. I'm gonna put the chips on the sandwich. But I made it to the lake. This is a lake I haven't been to in probably like six months, maybe Pr pretty much early spring. This is a lake that I really don't go to very much because it's it's very hit or miss. Either you catch a lot and they're very big or you really don't catch any. And uh, so this is pretty much the last day of good fishing. At least I think it's gonna be good fishing in Nebraska because tomorrow the high is like 40 degrees and right now it's actually like 65. So I wanted to come here. I wanna swing for the fences and attempt to catch some big bass. So we gotta tie a few lures on and uh, I'll have probably five to six hours to fish this lake before dark. Hopefully, gonna catch a giant. Well, I've got all my stuff ready, kind of just thrown in the boat here, and uh, I got some, everything tied on. I've got a spinner bait, I've got a whopper plopper, I've got a square bill, I've got a Senko, I've got a flipping bait, a Ned rig, shaky head. I think that's it. I uh, just have a variety, it's like slick calm, which is actually not what I wanted. Normally when it's calm, it's good because you can throw top water. I think the water might be a little too cold for that considering it's mid-November. So I'm thinking that I'm gonna have to go ultra finesse today. I could be wrong, I don't know. I haven't been in this lake in a long time. I'm guessing I'm gonna have to go finesse, um, just kind of dragging stuff on the bottom, but I'm not really sure. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the boat in the water now. The one thing I do like about this lake is that you can actually go fast on this lake. Most lakes uh, where I live, there are no wake lakes. This is like one of the very few ones that you can actually go fast on. So that is, uh, that's one thing I'm looking forward to is actually being able to kind of zip up and down this lake. I'm just gonna cover water today. The wind is picking up at like, the second I got on the water, the wind's picked up, so that's good. That is a huge plus because it's cloudy and windy. And those are the exact conditions that I want because uh, I want to throw a spinner bait and I want to kind of move fast, cover water, catch some fish. <laughs> All right, well, it's windy. This is exactly what I wanted. This should uh, this should be a good day of fishing for sure. It's warm and uh, it's fall. It's always uh, it's always good. Conditions are perfect for uh, catching the fish that are actively feeding. Make sure I got this net ready. I'm uh, I've got a feeling that this crankbait here is uh, it's gonna catch a big fish. There are big fish in this lake. That's one thing I like about this lake is, although sometimes it's pretty hit or miss, a lot of times the ones that you do catch, if you are catching them, are pretty good sizes. And this is actually my jerk bait setup. My square bill setup I left at home for, on accident. And so I'm using like 12 pound line and a really uh, kind of a nice flimsy rod. So I know if I hook one of these big ones, I'm gonna need a net. I'm just gonna start on this little riprap bank here. It's wind blown. This is kind of the first wind blown point that I found right off the, uh, the boat ramp. So. It's gonna start here and see what happens. There's a little bush up against this. I'm gonna throw my crankbait by it and see if there's anything on it. Oh, yeah, that's how you do it. You gotta catch the bush. All right, well, if you guys are watching, taking notes, don't, don't do that. Ooh, fish. Oh, first fish, yes. I don't think it's very big, but first fish on that little square bill crankbait. He feels fairly, fairly small. Come here, buddy. Oh, there we go. He's uh, not a big guy by any means, and I just barely, barely hooked him there. That's the first fish, so that's a good sign. That means there's some active fish eating uh, little reaction baits like this. See, hey, buddy, first fish didn't take too long, only about probably five to 10 minutes of fishing this bank. Found some active fish. I'm hoping, hoping to run into a few bigger ones than that. There's one. Oh, second fish. Oh, this is bigger. Oh, for sure. Okay. I don't know how big he is. I don't know how big he is. I haven't seen him. He's definitely a little bit bigger though. I'm guessing a little bit over two. Right off this little rock rip wrap. Yeah, he's definitely bigger. Oh, good God. That's a big one. Oh my God. That's a big one. Get the net. Yeah, buddy. Holy smokes. That's a good fish. Yes, right in the corner of the mouth, that little crankbait. Heck yeah, easily three, three and a half pounder. I uh, made the mistake of forgetting the scale today. Little chubby dude, nice. See you later, A.A. Ron. Hoo hoo, 
I'm feeling good now, boys. One tip that I can give you guys uh, that just watched me catch this fish is, as you can see, I'm, I'm straight parallel to this little rock jetty. And uh, obviously if I was with somebody else, someone was in the back of the boat, I wouldn't do this because that's called backboating. And I know I've talked about this before in video, so I'm not gonna go super in depth, but anytime you're fishing alone um, or don't care about backboating your buddy, this is what you wanna do is you wanna just fish right parallel to these rocks. And you just cover a lot more ground that way. And uh, it seems to it seemed to work today so far. That's kind of what I'm gonna continue to do is just go down these banks and just cover water and just parallel it. And uh, before you know it, you'll, you'll hook into a big one. Is that a fish? What is this? Is this a fish? What the heck did I just catch? Is this a bass? It is a bass. Got a little baby bass. He was, he was swimming real funny. I had no idea if that was even a fish or if it was a crappie or what. Hey, calm down, little dude. I ain't trying to get hooked. Boy, squeak, squeak my gear right there. See you, buddy. Well, still catching fish. No giants. I mean, I've caught a three and a half. It's pretty, pretty, that's a good, that's a chunk. That's not a giant. I know I thought he was a lot bigger in the water. They always look a lot bigger in the water. I thought he was a lot bigger. Um, that's a good fish. I'd be pretty content with five of them, but my goal today is to catch one over four. That's, that's the goal for the day. All right, I'm moving spots. I'm taking a little lunch break right now. I've caught some fish on the crankbait. Nothing giant though, nothing giant. Sun's peeking out. The wind is actually dying down, which kind of sucks. Uh, but if the sun does come out, that might give me a chance to do some dock fishing, which is, which is kind of something I've wanted to do all year. I haven't really gotten on a really good dock bite. Not that it'd be really good, but at least I'd have some confidence that they'd be tucked in the shade. I don't know. I'm gonna finish the sandwich though, and uh, I'm gonna catch some more fish. So after that quick lunch break, I'm gonna try to fish some docks for just a little bit. There's just couple docks over here and then I'm gonna actually probably haul to the other side of the lake the complete other side of the lake and uh, I think there's some lily pads or something over there that I can I can throw throw some spinner baits in and stuff like that oh there you go we're on that leaf pattern you know you're gonna catch a big one when you're uh, on that leaf pattern All right, well, I've gone to the conclusion they are not under dock, so I am gonna go find some riprap to uh, throw that crankbait and spinnerbait on. So I'm gonna make a switch and start chucking the spinnerbait around. I've thrown the square bill a little bit, no luck, and uh, kind of pulled up on this little island here, and I see some vegetation, some like dead lily pads, which I don't know if them being dead is gonna be bad, or if uh, the bass are still gonna use them for cover, I'm not sure, but I'm just gonna kinda throw this spinnerbait around on this little windy, windy point of the island and see what happens. Is that a fish? That's a fish. Oh God, that's a fish. That's a big largemouth. He completely just, he, he hammered it, but he didn't run right away. That's a good one. That's a real good one, actually. Come here, buddy. Yeah! That's a three. That's a good fish right there. Again, I've talked about this in so many videos, but uh, right there is why you use a trailer hook. Without that, not a chance I would have hooked this dude. All right, well, he might not be quite three, probably two and a half, two and three quarters, but he's uh, nice and chunky. I like these, but I want to catch some bigger ones. But I'll take it. I'll take what I can get right now. Giant cold front moving in right now. It's freezing outside. Still, uh, still catching some nice spinnerbait fish. See you, Michael. All right. That was uh, about third cast, I think, with my spinnerbait, maybe even second cast. That's a really good sign. I just picked it up, wanted to try something new, and uh, it worked. Like I said a second ago, it's freezing. Like, it went from 65 to where I was comfy in a t-shirt to it's got to be below 50 right now. I don't know. I'm not sure. Water temperature is 52 degrees, but that it's just the wind that's cold. It's, so it's, the, it's not the actual temperature. It's the wind chill. It's supposed to be like a high of 40 tomorrow, and so the cold front's rolling in tonight which is why I'm gonna be duck hunting tomorrow morning. But for right now, it's, it's pretty chilly. Oh, that's a fish. Oh, come here, buddy. Hey, <laughs> he's just kind of like, he's, he hit, I mean, get, he got the back hook. He barely even hit it. And then he swam right towards you. So I hesitated to even like say anything. I didn't even know he was there. Look how fat these little dudes are. That's just a, uh, uh, probably, I don't even know, 13, 14 incher. 
not definitely not the size we want but uh i'll take it it's like i said like i've been kind of saying this whole video is it's uh it's gotten really cold really it's uh now that the sun's actually peeking up now i can feel it's getting a little warmer but that wind is shifting to a north wind it's supposed to be a north wind of about 20 miles an hour tomorrow which is why i'm duck hunting and not fishing and i can definitely start to feel the air temperature drop and i'm hoping that kind of turns the fish on a little bit maybe they sense the cold front coming and they feed up i don't know it could have either a positive or negative effect on the fish but i'm gonna i'm gonna keep on fishing i guess we'll find out well quick update for you guys uh i haven't caught a fish in a long time well i caught that small one but besides that real small one i haven't caught a fish in a long time it's getting cold i'm gonna run to that side of the lake and uh fish exactly where i caught the the bigger one this morning and uh those for those first two fish on the crankbait so i'm gonna run over there i've got a couple more spots in mind to hit uh, before calling it a day before it gets too cold and too dark uh, but i'm gonna keep after it i am determined to catch a big fish today i think that's a fish i think that's a fish oh my gosh it's a fish i kind of forgot what it felt like it's been like an hour oh yeah that's a good one too everybody it's a little chunker not big and by any means but I switched up to a little flat sided crank and uh, this little dude got fat there. They're definitely feeding up for uh, for winter. You can feel that, I mean, they're, they're freezing cold and they're all super fat. Obviously they're not gonna be spawning this time of year. So you know that means that they are, uh, that they're feeding. See you later, Roberto. Yeah, like I was saying, is I switched to this little flat sided crank, but I figured since there's a big cold front coming in, maybe they don't want something that moves uh, quite so side to side. Usually the, the wide baits, like the big round square bills, um, have a lot of side to side movement versus these little thin guys are just more of like a thin shimmy. That's usually what you want to do when it gets cold. I don't know why it didn't cross my mind sooner to uh, switch to this bait instead of throwing, you know, uh, a square bill that I usually throw in the summer, the warm months, to switch to something thinner. Um, you could throw this or you could throw like any of those shad wrap, shad wrap type baits, anything like that. But this is a pretty good bait for fishing shallow, um, which is kind of what I'm trying to do right now. So making repeated casts up on, just up on the bank. I was really surprised I actually just caught that fish because I fished this bank. This is like my fourth time today fishing the same bank. But I guess that's a lesson learned is when it starts to cool down, when a cold front's coming in, throw the, uh, the little thin, the thin flat sided crankbaits. Well, it's, uh, it's getting close to four o'clock. Um, I wanted to kind of head out here by four o'clock, get home, had to do some more homework, finishing up some classes this weekend for the quarter, but I'm gonna head to one last final spot and throw that flat side of crankbait since I think that was the right move to go to. I'm gonna take that crankbait and I'm gonna go fish all the rocks all the way back to the dock and then I'm gonna call it a day. Well, I guess that's it. I decided not to do an outro, I don't know. I'm, I'm sitting here editing this video and that's where it ended, is me being like, yeah, I'm gonna go over here and go fish. And that's it, that's the last thing I filmed. So, sincerely hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a thumbs up, drop a comment down below. I don't care what you comment, just comment something. Tell me a joke, I don't care. Happy Thanksgiving, thank you all so much for watching, and peace. Nice.